right now on CBS 2 News at 5 o'clock. The fight over flights going in and out of Van Nuys Airport. We're told there are so many of them, along with complaints, LA City Council members may crack down to bring the noise down. That's right. They're growing in popularity. Chartered planes and private jets. People from the surrounding neighborhoods, though, and schools as far away as North Hills are complaining about that constant noise and risk to their health. Yeah, now the council wants a city attorney and the Los Angeles World Airports Group to figure out what can be done to solve the problem. CBS 2's Christine Lazar is live in Van Nuys right now with the frustration level there. Christine? Well, Jeff, you can see some of those jets right over my shoulder parked. We actually just had one go up behind us right before we came on air. Now, looking at the data, last month in September, there were about 5,600 jet operations for the month. That equates to about 180 jet operations every day. And I want to just show you how close the airport is to these neighborhoods. And the people who live here say the airport is impacting their health and their safety. Parents watched as jet after jet flew over an elementary school in North Hills, which sits in the flight path of Van Nuys Airport. I recorded seven jets flying over. The executive director of Valley Charter tells us they have contacted Los Angeles World Airports, which oversees both LAX and Van Nuys, to express their concern. The kids know when the jets are flying over, coming in for landing, she stops teaching, the kids stop talking, and they just have to wait. And this happens all the time. Last month, there was a jet operation at Van Nuys Airport about once every eight minutes. Suzanne Gutierrez has a child at Valley Charter, and she lives about a block from the airport. They fly at all hours of, of the day and night. I mean, any given time in the middle of the night, I can wake up out here a jet taking off. Gutierrez moved here in 2003. Her neighbor, Sue Steinberg. Do you want me to hold for the jet? <laughs> No. Moved in back in 1986. She says Van Nuys is not the same airport she knew back then. I likened it to it's like you had a cute little garden lizard in your backyard. Well, now we have Godzilla. Bringing with it more noise and pollution. It's really nice that that's convenient for the rich and famous to fly in and out of Van Nuys Airport. But you know what's really inconvenient is not being able to breathe. Safety is also a concern. Since Van Nuys is a general aviation airport, there is no TSA. Anyone in the public can buy a seat on a chartered flight if they can afford it. If you wanted to for a mere $50,000, you can rent a jet and go to Hawaii. Well, guess what? Nobody checks your baggage. Since there's no TSA, there's no metal detectors. Residents want the city to research ways to lessen traffic and boost safety at the airport. I don't want to see the airport closed. That's not what we're saying. But it's overgrown its location. That never should have happened. They never should have allowed this many jets in and out of here. And I did reach out to Los Angeles uh, World Airports, otherwise known as LAWA, and a spokesperson said they are working with neighborhood groups, the community at large, private pilots, and the FAA to minimize the impacts of the airport. That LAWA spokesperson also pointed out that those chartered flights that we were talking about there, that they are allowed by the FAA. In Van Nuys, I'm Christine Lazar. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Christine, thank you so much.